very, very, very hot. Canberra looking to take something from the series. They lost game one, six to nothing. Game two, five, one, and last night, 10 to four. Good evening and welcome to our commentary box. I'm Ben Cameron, and he's the most winningest pitcher in Australian Baseball League history, none other than Simon Isons. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Ben, and it is certainly hot. As we saw Rod Drew spraying himself with the, uh, the hose out there, I think the water was actually evaporating before it hit the floor. Canberra are in trouble. They are bona fide in something from this final game of this series here in Perth. Well, as you can see there, they're only one game clear of Melbourne. What they need to do is establish a break. They do not want to be chased by the pack. Perth Heat keep rolling. We're looking at a 16-7 win. They're going over to Canberra with a lot of momentum in there. There's no doubt that going to Canberra will be a very, very hard series for Perth. So they need to establish the ground. We'll possibly... If we go to Canberra lose three, we're one up into the series. We're one up ahead. But the thing that Canberra have got to worry about is the other teams that are catching them and the other teams that are playing good catch-up baseball as well. Let's take a look at the lineups for the game here today on Sunday afternoon for Fielder's Choice, starting off with the visitors, the Canberra Cavalry. John Bertie, the centre fielder, leads off the designated hitter. Shane Obtees bats two. Casey Frawley, the two-time reigning player of the week in the Australian Baseball League, he's at short and bats three. Jeremy Barnes, the second baseman, bats clean up. Jack Murphy, the third baseman today, he bats five. Then it's Michael Wells, the first baseman. Jason Sloan, the left fielder. Robbie Perkins, the catcher, he bats eight. And Antonio Callaway, the right fielder, who bats nine. The starting pitcher, Stephen Chambers for the Canberra Cavalry. For the home side, the Perth Heat, Corey up 13-14 with a 9.69 ERA compared to his one-on-one win-loss record at night. Uh, with a 5.65 ERA, how big a difference is that? It makes a huge difference when you when you talk about confidence as a pitcher. Because I know when I was pitching at night, it was a lot easier to throw where required. Schmidt is a contact type of pitcher. He is always going to make contact. He's not going to overpower you. He's got a very heavy fastball, and it's going to be an interesting battle. It'll be interesting to see how the camera guys take to him. He's notorious for changing sp his speeds up and down, in and out, and he you know at times being a lefty, he does tend to pitch backwards as well. But 37 degrees Celsius as we get this one underway. You can understand why a number of the patrons might not have shown up today. It looks relatively empty behind home dish. But they are continuing to file in. Verdi to lead off and facing the Southpaw Schmidt who comes home, misses down. He's given up his job for three months to play for the Canberra Cavalry. Schmidt's 1-2, Wells grounds it, slow roller left side, Wong comes in, looks to turn the double play, the throw it to first, in time, and the out is made, the Perth Heat turn the double play, and they've now retired two in the top of the... It wasn't full, it was a curveball up in the air, dropped some good bat on it, and you'll see Birdie, you see Sloan underneath it, Birdie comes right underneath him, controlling it, a close situation there, but like you said, centre fielder has right of way, it was pretty much, he was lucky not for a collision then. Chambers home, Canelli grounds it over towards the shortstop, a diving save from Frawley, sets himself through at first, and Matt Canelli is safe over at first, the stretch from Wells, but the throw was not in time, it was a close call, we'll have a look at the replay, but irrespective of that, it is a two-out single for Matt Canelli.